Who doesn't know who Mario is? He is literally the face of video gaming. And whether it is kart racing, tennis, baseball, or Smash Brothers, Mario is commonly known as the Jack of All Trades. And that is exactly the same in Project M. And because he's the jack of all trade character, that means he doesn't really excel in any specific area, but he still fills a role in every area. Mario fills a sort of Shoto character type role, as he has a fireball, a tornado like spin move, and an uppercut special, similar to how Ryu and the other Shoto characters do in Street Fighter. One of the exceptions of Mario being the jack of all trades is his forward air. His forward air is easily one of the best forward airs in the game, as it can combo in itself and has the ability to meteor. Not only that, but Mario has access to probably one of the best projectiles in the game, being fireballs. Fireballs allow Mario to control space and keep the opponent at bay. It's very important to mix up your approaches with aerials or Mario's throws out of fireball because if not, your approaches are going to be very mediocre and your opponent will catch on to it. Mario is very capable offstage as well, due to his ability to gimp his opponents very well with his reliable aerials and his cape. Not only that, but Mario has a very versatile recovery. He has the ability to use his side B, his down B, a wall jump, and his up B to get back on stage. Despite Mario's strengths though, he has a very common problem which is a lack of range and defensive options. Mario in Project M takes the best from Dr. Mario and Mario from Melee. Not only that, but with buffs on top of that allows Mario to be a very capable fighter in Project M. His smash attacks are overall stronger compared to his Melee and Brawl counterpart. Not only that, but its fireballs have much less ending lag and can be acted out of sooner. The fact that you can B-reverse his fireballs alone is a big buff compared to how he is in melee. Mario's Brawl down B, which was Flood, has been reverted back to his melee down B, which is the Mario Tornado. This might turn off some old Brawl veterans, but this is actually an overall buff to his recovery as down B is a very good versatile recovery move. As stated earlier, Mario is the jack of all trades, so that means it's very important for Mario mains to mix up their approaches. Some examples of some simple mix-ups for Mario is shooting out a fireball and then crossing it up with a back air, for example. When it comes to comboing with Mario, it's pretty self-explanatory. All of his up airs, up tilts, up smashes, they're all good for extending combos. And then finishers are his forward air, forward smash, down smash. All of his moves are pretty much versatile very versatile. Mario has a very balanced matchup spread. He can take on most of the cast without having too much trouble. In fact, he's a very popular secondary for a lot of people in Project Game. One of Mario's problems though is he has poor range. His grab gets outranged by a lot of the characters in the cast, and he has a lot of weaknesses to defensive options like crouch canceling. Peach, Mewtwo, Luigi, and Marth are all very difficult matchups for Mario. Peach and Luigi exploit Mario's weakness to defensive options, and they can stuff his approaches with like just simply a down smash. Mewtwo and Marth mainly outrange him with their disjointed hitboxes, and they can use their disjoints to beat his fireballs and his approaches. Because of this, Mario most likely is going to have to play a lot more patiently against these characters. One of probably Mario's biggest pros is that he has a projectile. Fireballs are actually very important to have because projectiles help with a lot of matchups in this game. Uh, characters like Ganondorf, uh, Captain Falcon, they really don't like projectiles and that really helps Mario out a lot. And a lot of characters in the PM meta that have projectiles, it's, it's honestly a blessing for them to have. Um, the next pro that I would say is his very versatile recovery. Uh, probably one of the better recoveries in the game. Uh, he has a wall jump, he can use his down B, he can use his side B, you know, like twice to recover, he can use his up B, like, he has a lot of recovery options. Very, very effective with his combo game. Uh, his punish game, very easy, very simple. Um, usually when he gets a throw, he can have a, a pretty easy punish, whether it's an up air or a forward air. Um, his, his combos are very rewarding, and not only that, his throws are very rewarding. So if you like characters like that, like like Gallo for example, one common thing he'll do is if he gets an up throw, um, he follows the DI and then forward airs them and goes for the kill. It's, it's a very, very rewarding for Mario to get a throw. 
Uh, and probably the last pro that I would list for Mario is he's simply just very easy to pick up and learn. If you need a secondary or if you're just new to Project M in general, uh, I would definitely recommend uh, picking up Mario uh, because he's really easy to pick up and learn. Uh, now for the cons, uh, his first con that I would list is he has very poor range. Uh, his grab range gets outranged by like a lot of characters. Um, some of his moves just don't hit far enough, um, which it does suck. He can get outranged by a lot of characters and it sucks. Um, but you just gotta know when to go in, when to approach, you know, mix up your options. You just gotta kind of play around that. And that's kind of why characters like Marth and like Mewtwo like beat him pretty hard. Uh, the next con that I would say is his defensive options uh, are pretty poor. Uh, his, he can give a good crouch cancel, like Mario can crouch cancel a lot of uh, characters. Um, but once he gets to a certain percent, he just gets beat pretty hard by Crouch Cancel, and it, it's it it just it just beats him pretty hard, and that's why characters like like Peach, like her down, she's all about Crouch Canceling, and that why that's why that matchup can be very hard for Mario because of that. He can have trouble mixing up uh, approaches and landing sometimes. Uh, now I know I've been calling Mario like a mix-up king, but I'm mainly saying this for like some Mario mains out there is they they don't know how to mix up their options like they're. Mario can mix up characters really good, it's just I feel the players don't really know that much of how to mix up Mario's options. Like, they'll just shoot fireballs and do nothing out of it, you know? Like, you gotta shoot a fireball and see what your opponent is gonna do and react to that. And then, next time, mix it up, you know, do a different aerial instead. Like, a lot of Mario mains kinda like to stay doing the same thing. Alright, so Mario is for you if you've honestly played Mario in any other Smash game. If you played Mario in Smash 4 even, uh, Smash 64, Melee especially, Brawl, you're definitely gonna find yourself at home with him in Project M. Even if you played him in Smash 4, cause his up smashes are very similar to how his up smash performs in, in, uh, in Smash 4. You can just kinda spam that shit and, you know, still be fine sometimes. Uh, definitely though, if you played him in Melee or Brawl, you're probably gonna find yourself at home with him because he's basically a buffed version on how he acted in those games. If you want a character that's like simple to pick up and learn and you just want to get good with, um, definitely also try Mario because he's very simple. Like I was able to pick up Mario on my own and figure out everything. I mean if you kinda just want to learn like basic tech and then still be able to perform decently, you could probably do that with Mario because Mario doesn't really have too much like intense tech skill. He does have some like advanced text here and there that you guys can probably look up, um, but mostly Mario's pretty straightforward when it comes to tech. Uh, if you're simply just new to Project M in general, uh, definitely also try Mario out because he's basically made for beginners and people that are new to Smash. Um, he basically feels like every role. As, as I said in this video, he feels like every role he has a projectile you know he's got this he's got that definitely try him out if you're new to project m um he's very simple he's very good for beginners also if you think the cape is hype and you just want to piss off people that have very linear recoveries then do that too i think that's all for this video though guys um let me know what you guys think this is the first time i've done uh, a video like this i guess you could say this is kind of like an intro outro type of thing uh, i won't make this too long uh but you guys, I'll let you guys decide which character you want me to do next. Um, I'll choose, we'll say we'll do, uh, we can choose either Falco, Ivysaur, or Roy. Uh, out of those three, which guys, which one do you guys want to see? Falco, Ivysaur, or Roy? Um, let me know in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if there's any Mario mains out there, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, let me know if this video helped anyways too, so. Yeah, alright, so I think that's it guys, so. See ya.